Happy Monday, Inspire Beauty. Super freaking pumped for our guest speaker tonight. Um, it's my heart this year, you guys, to be able to get you at least one uh, phenomenal guest speaker per month uh, so that you hear from other voices in the network besides just mine. Um, Bailey, I freaking love Bailey. She is like honorary Inspire Beauty. She's uh, in our team page. She's like the first person that raised her hand and said, heck yes, put me in the business builders page when that came out uh, right at the new year. And she's just like our, our team hype girl. I freaking love her. Um, I met Bailey last year when I was uh, part of the new leader conference and she created this page called boss babes mastermind that started off as this like little way to share graphics um, with other people who are part of new leader. It kind of started as this like small thing. It's like this massive freaking beach body group and it was all her vision. Um, and the coolest part you guys is Bailey's just this like stinking spitfire. She's 21 years old from Kansas has been, I mean, she's, I say only, but she's been coaching two years. Um, and she just has an energy about her that like the day that she stands on stage as top freaking coach in the network, I'm gonna be like, I knew her when, like, she's always been my hype girl. <laughs> um, and I, I love it, but, uh, she's a, le a lifetime one star diamond, you guys. And this is the kicker. This is what you need to soak in. She's been SC, Success Club, 20 plus for 19 months strong. Today on the National Wake Up Call, uh, if you haven't checked it out yet, please go listen. But the National Wake Up Call, she talks about this idea that you can find three people every month. If you are struggling right now and you're like, I can't find three people every month, that's a belief issue. And so tonight I'm hoping that Bailey is going to be able to break into your soul and, and help you awaken to the idea that yes, you can not only just help three people every month, but you can set the freaking bar higher. I'm gonna give you guys a Martin Luther King Jr. quote, and then I'm gonna let Bailey take it away because she's fire. But it is Martin Luther King Jr. Day or MLK Day today, and I love this quote. I shared it with our business builders, but it's everybody can be great because anybody can serve. Hear that again. Everybody can be great because anybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You only need a heart full of grace, a soul generated by love. And to me, that is this team. That is this business. You don't need a college degree to be a Beachbody coach. You don't need seven years of experience or anything like that. You don't need permission to be great in this business. You just have to one day wake up and say, I'm worthy. I'm capable. Let's do the damn thing, right? So Bailey, please take it away. Unmute yourself. I'm so fired up, girl. thank you for having me haven't i spoke on your team call before <laughs> i love it um i'm bailey i'm 21 and i'm from kansas and i've been coaching for about two years um and i just believe that success club is a I, it's obviously an important part of your business but i just believe that it's the foundation of your business because it means that you're growing your team you're growing your you know challenger base your your groups um, and the only way to, I guess, like expand your business is really to hit success club because then you're not bringing anyone in to do this with you and changing lives is what we do guys. So I have a little PowerPoint that I created and I'm just going to show you kind of to like break down so you guys can actually like see what I'm talking about rather than just like say it. Um, and it's not going to be too long, so I won't take up too much of your time, but I'm going to share my screen really quick and then we will get started and I'll send this to Britt as well. I hope I haven't done this one for your team yet. <laughs> okay. Okay. So success club, making it a non-negotiable for your business. So I make my girls know that success club is their first goal, whether or not you have coaches underneath you right now, or like, you know, a mini team or any coaches at all, just knowing like, Success club is a non-negotiable coming into coaching because for one, for new coaches, it'll help them hit success starter. Um, for two, obviously they want that free, you know, the free coach summit ticket, the rewards, the incentives to keep them going. And just knowing like, if you're hitting it, your coaches are going to do half of what you're doing. So I always make sure that I am hitting success club 
10 plus every single month. I know that's maybe really high up there for some of you, but I started my business out as just hitting Success Club 5. Like I hit Success Club 5 months and months in a row up to like a year. And then after that, I just kept pushing and I'm like 20 months strong now. So I in success club. So whether it's like five plus 10 plus whatever it is. Um, but that first year I just focused on bringing three people in a month and I kept it low, even though, you know, you want the high numbers. Once you get to five points and you help three people a month, then you can focus on, on how your what action steps you're going to take to get to the higher numbers that you want. But if you're not even hitting success club five, you can't be focusing on hitting success club 10, 20, 30. I mean, you have to first get in that foundation of hitting it and consistently hitting that for months because you're just going to overwhelm yourself. And I have so many girls that hit success club two. I think I have like eight people at success club two right now. And I just, it's like, you have to just think of it as changing lives. It's, it's a numbers game and you can't look at it as a number. You look at it as a life changed. Okay. So when you know, like I'm at success club two, what are you, what are the actions you're doing to get to four, to get to six, to get to eight, to get to 10? What are you doing? Are you leaving something out on your tracker? Are you not showing up on your Instagram? Are you not posting every day? So I'm going to go through kind of like my non-negotiables every single day that helped me hit success club. And then kind of like comparing success club to growing a garden because I really feel like growing a garden is literally how you look at success club and how you build relationships. So my non-negotiables every single day are, and you probably, these are probably some for you as well. And they're on the business activity tracker, most of them, but I post three to five times plus on Instagram stories. I've been using Facebook stories a little bit and it actually gets a good amount of viewers. It's just a lot of like coaches and stuff. But if you use Facebook, you can use Facebook stories and it works just like Instagram. Um, and I post, I don't know, 10 plus times, but I started out posting three to five times, whether it was my breakfast, my pre mixing my pre-workout. I didn't, I was so scared to show any supplements on my stories because I just was afraid of like, people being like, oh my God, is that beach body? Like just the haters, right? So I feared posting any supplement. So I didn't share about my shakes. I didn't share about my energize. I didn't share about like any morning routine things because I just thought I would be judged. I didn't dance on my stories. And it just has made this huge switch because I know that this is how I get people. I post my morning routine, my journaling, my gratitude journals, all the journals I use in the morning, water chugs, my hustle juice, energize, dance every single day. And when I'm not showing up, people know. They're like, why didn't you post your dance today? And I'm like, I'm just not in the mood. Like, I'm not feeling it, but I'll do it. And you just have to keep showing up. And consistently showing up will help you at Success Club. I only really recruit from my Instagram stories. I invite for my Instagram stories. Um, and I just show up so that I have new people to invite as well. Um, the next thing is I craft post usually on Sundays. Um, it's just easiest for me. And if I change it throughout the week, that's okay. But I craft my posts every, for every single day. You can like easily follow a motivation Monday, transformation Tuesday. You know, you've seen the easy posting schedules on Pinterest and the ones we post everywhere, you know, um, but just really showcasing what your lifestyle is. So for me, I do like a motivation Monday, a transformation Tuesday, every Thursday, I post a post about coaching. Um, I'll do like a po post with my boyfriend, a post if I'm traveling, like just showing the different aspects of life because that's what people want to see. And I heard some, someone say that the other day that we're not health and fitness. We're not just health and fitness. We are literally women that wanted to become better and make an impact. And it, we're not just about health and fitness. So you have to remember, like people want to see your actual daily life and what you're doing. Um, the next thing is I record, record clips of my workouts. So if that's uncomfortable for you, you have to just work your way up baby steps, you know, post one clip of you doing an ab move or something. And people just know like, Oh my God, she's staying active. Like, what is she doing? I want to know, right. If they've never seen you post workouts. 
So just getting out of your comfort zone, which you have to do as a coach, and it's really hard, but you would be surprised. Like I've been using Splice for my workout clips and it's just fun. You know, you add some cool music and you do some like cool effects and it's just fun to watch. Like I'll go to like my other Instagram accounts, like my coaching one um, and my decal account and I'll like watch my story because I just want to like see it. Even though I know it happens, I just want to like watch and see, you know, what, what it would be like if I was like a person watching out there. Um, and then I add a call to action after every workout story. And I know like the pole robots have been out a lot, like hassling our accounts, but I still put polls and I heard to put them like kind of like in the left hand corner of your story because they only click in like the right hand. So I'm not really sure if that's true, but I always add some sort of call to action. So a poll or, you know, how we have like the call to action after our workout where it's like a post you made with like typing on it and it's like, this is what you get, join my group, like whatever it is, whatever kind of call to action you want, that's what it is, is like, you know, join my group, message me, swipe up, something like that. Um, and then personal development. So I'm reading Atomic Habits right now. And it really is all about like taking away bad habits, replacing them with good ones. And like why our body is so programmed to create these habits in our life. And I've like tied it back into like the habits I was doing before coaching, right? Um, and how like I can be better with coaching and how I get to change lives. So it also helps me create content and like captions for my posts. So if you are ever like struggling with captions, go listen to like a Rachel Hollis podcast or some sort of personal development because it'll literally just spark something and you'll just start typing. I swear it helps. Um, and then just show up consistently. Really, it's just all about showing up on Instagram or Facebook consistently and just being there because people want to know, like, you're open for business, right? Like, if you walked by a store and their store sign wasn't on, then they're not going to come in because it's, it's closed, right? So if your Instagram store sign is off, then nobody's going to come to your page and ask you for help. Um, and then use a tracker for power hours. So Britt was on our team call last Wednesday. and we were like telling her what things we needed, I think to like improve or something from 2019. And I said like, start using a tracker again, because I just thought like, oh, I miss like success club queen. I hit success club. I don't need to use a tracker, right? I know how to hit success club and I keep doing it. But then I would just sit here and like scroll Instagram and like read my book and journal and do my like routine and work out. And then that's it. Like I wouldn't even invite I wouldn't even like none of the things, but I was still hitting success club somehow. And it's just because I was showing up, but I wasn't using a tracker. So I went back to the basics and I downloaded the success club or SC bat app um, instead of printing a checklist out because I just like don't use it. Um, and I'm always on my phone. So I, I downloaded that app. So I'll be using that. And I, I've been in the business for two years and I've hit success club every single month since I started. And I just, I need to go back to the basics. I need to go back to a tracker. So it's okay. If you got off track and you aren't using a tracker, it's okay to own up to, you know, you've, you're guilty. You're not using a tracker anymore. Just go right back to using a tracker. Just make it simple for yourself. I mean, you, you have to do beach body, but beach body isn't your whole day, right? We aren't just beach body. You can sit down, do your hustle hour, knock out invites, knock out connections, post all the things, right? Upload your stories. Um, but you don't have to sit at your desk all day and just be beach body. That's it. You don't have to just do beach body. So just know like using a tracker really helps and it just like takes it back to basics. So those are my non-negotiables every single day. So this is kind of like the growing a garden. So I think of it as like planting the seed, right? Watering it, watching it grow and picking it. So I'm gonna go into each of these steps and like how I do each one. Um, but if you just think about it, like planting the seed, you're making a connection, right? You're following someone new. Watering it, you're cheering them on. You're commenting on their posts. You're doing the 531 rule. Um, you're watching it grow. So whether, you know, a conversation takes a month, a day, two days, three days, you're watching that relationship grow over time. And then you're picking it and closing the deal, whatever you want to call it. I don't really like that, but uh, 
making it like you're signing them up, right? They're joining you because you've made this connection. So super easy. Planning this seed is basically just going to be like a, hey, thanks for following me message, right? It's just something so genuine and so simple that can grab someone's attention and easily open that door to like, okay, this girl is here for me. Like this girl messaged me. So I'm just going to message her back. Right? So it just is something as simple as like, Hey, thanks for following me. Like catch me in my stories. I post free workouts, free recipes, whatever it is. You know, I dance, I bring the energy. Um, I hope we can stay connected. Right. Or, Hey girl, I love your page. I love connecting with others that I can relate to. So I just type out like a, well, like a, welcome or hey new follower message and I save it to my Instagram quick replies and I just name it like new. So every time I have a new follower and I'm going through messaging new followers, um, I just type in new and it pops up and I just send it. And I think mine actually says something about like the catch my stories for a free workout. I'm going to read it to you guys really quick and I can send it to Britt too, but it's just really genuine. I feel like it's really genuine. So it says, hey, girlfriend, thank you so much for following me. It seriously means the world. And I hope I can provide some sort of value into your everyday life. Catch me on Insta stories daily, sharing workouts, meals, recipes, dances, and tons more. XOXO Bay. So it's, it, I mean, you could even personalize it to like, hey, Britt, or hey, Clara, or whoever's watching your stories um, or following you, but you totally don't have to do that. So that's a message that's super simple. And then the second step is if they haven't followed you back yet, then you're doing the five, three, one rule. So sometimes you'll just get like, you know, new followers, you didn't even follow them. Um, so this is more for like, you're messaging those people, but if you're going to find new people and you're going to network, you would do like comment on five photos, like three, and then whatever, if you're doing some sort of connecting with people. So there's the point of like, you're going through your followers and you're messaging them. Thank you for the follow, or you're going out there to find people. Then you're doing like the connecting and you're commenting on their photos and you're liking them and creating that like connection with them. So there's like two ways to do that. The next one is watering it. So then like number one is continuously cheering them on. So this would be like liking five photos, commenting on three and cheering them on through their journey. Or I mean, if they have like a cute outfit, like you're just connecting with them about basically non beach body things, which is what I love. It doesn't always have to be like, Hey, want to try my workouts? Like, Hey, what are, you know, what are you using for pre-workout? You know, it, do you want to join my group? Like you don't always have to be that in that invite zone, connect about non beach body things. I'm always commenting on people's like phone cases and where they got like their glasses and their jars and their straws and like these things in their kitchen where they get their rugs. And that's what I love about this business is like, I, we get to connect with new women every single day. And that's my favorite part of being a coach is the networking part of it. Like finding new women out there. And I'm like, Oh my God, this girl's been out there for this long. And I've never came across her. Like we are literally, we could be best friends. Like that's my favorite part of being a coach. So this would basically just be like the five, three, one rule. And you can Google that it's from Shalene Johnson. Um, and it's just an easy way I use to like grow my following. And then the goal with this would be for them to come back to your page and watch your stories and engage in your posts. Right? So sometimes people don't even acknowledge it. They don't follow you back. That's okay. Um, if you don't vibe with them, you can unfollow them. But it's just as simple as like, when I have coaches coming to me saying, I, I'm running out of people to invite. Well, you're not connecting and you're not networking, right? Because if you were, you would be growing your following. I can go right now and follow 10 new girls that I really love their pages. Um, I spam the shit out of them, like all over their photos. They will come back and follow me just because they know like, oh, I have an Instagram story going. Oh, I posted today oh, she's real, right? Like she just came and like gave me all this love and it wasn't just like spammy emojis. It was actually genuine. So watering it would just kind of like see, I guess, open that door for them to come to your page and follow you. 
And then the next one is watching it grow. So this would be developing the relationship, like I said, whether it's a week, a month, a year, um, being genuine is going to get you further when you invite them. So if you hate like inviting people because it's uncomfortable and it's kind of like feels like a cold invite, but you didn't really, and you haven't really messaged that person, this is where that 531 rule comes in where you already connected with a ton of their photos. Maybe they're already watching your story and you're going through your story inviting, right? And you're like, oh, I connected with her about like sunglasses. Oh, this is going to be fun. Like then you invite her, right? So she's already in your storefront. You have the, it's your responsibility to invite her. You have that ability to do it. Um, and you don't, you don't have to be scared. If she's watching your stories and she's coming and like liking your posts and commenting on your stuff, you have the right to ask her if she wants to join you because it's your storefront. Just like if someone came up to you in a store and said, Hey, can you help me try on this? Whatever. I need a, I need a dressing room. You'd be like, Oh hell yeah, girl. Like, let's go, let's go. I'll take you to the dressing room. So <clears throat> it's, it's the same thing. It's the same thing as a store. If they were over there struggling to make a decision or pick out the right outfit, you would walk up to them and be like, Hey, what sizes can I get? What, like, can I help you at all? What kind of shoes are you looking for? This is the same thing. They're in your storefront. So you're going to develop that relationship and invite them. And then the last one is just picking the flower. So this can, I guess, can mean a few things. Um, maybe, you know, they just want to try free workouts. Maybe they just want to like do a free group, whatever it is. Once they're watching your stories and engaging with you, you're inviting them. Okay. So if, especially if they had already responded to your, Hey, thanks for following me message between those two messages, between the like, Hey, thanks for following me. And then inviting them. I give it about a week to two weeks at least just because then it's just like, you're always messaging them something about like, Hey, thanks for following me. Do you want to join me? So if you feel like it's just too soon, just move on and keep networking. Right. And just keep engaging with that person. Um, and then this is basically your time to get to know them. Their goals just goes back into like using a script. If you use a script and kind of follow, like, what are your goals? Like what kind of pro, like what kind of workouts have you done in the past? What have you done in the past fitness and nutrition wise? Um, and then you pick the flower and if it's the right fit, then, you know, if they're ready, if they're ready to be picked, then you're signing them up. You're sending them a share card, right? Because you've built that relationship so hard and you've engaged with them and you've just cheered them on for so long. They know that they're ready to join your team because they've been watching you. So I kind of like to think about it as growing a garden. Um, and why hit success club? Because it helps your business grow. Like I said, it creates duplications. You can teach your coaches because if you're not hitting success club, then your new coaches will not hit success club. Um, if, you, if it's like a double trip dollar, you know, month, like this month is double trip dollars for the 2021 trip for success club. Um, so your trip dollars double for his hitting success club, getting higher success club numbers. So there's always like incentives, like this month is a tank or a t-shirt three month is like whatever blankets. I don't know, six and nine and 12 months which I love gifts. I love rewards. Um, my, my upline always sends me like a gift card or something small. If I hit like success club sometimes, and then obviously recognition, like Brittany's going to literally recognize the shit out of you. If you are hitting success club, she already does. Cause I'm in your guys' coaches group. So I know she's like always recognizing you guys being hard workers, but hitting success club is just going the extra mile. And this is just a non-negotiable just like when you wake up and brush your teeth or you wake up and make your energize, why would you do that if you're not hitting success club? They're both non-negotiables. I always drink my pre-workout every morning. I need it. I don't drink coffee. I need it to wake me up. It's, it honestly doesn't even give me energy anymore. It's just something I drink every day, right? And I just love mixing it up. So if I'm not hitting success club, why do I deserve to mix up my pre-workout? Think about that. Like, if you're not hitting success club, the non-negotiable of your business, the foundation of your business, and you're not changing lives, then why do you get to go upstairs in your house or in your house anywhere and mix up your pre-workout and dance it out and get to work out? Right? So 
if you're if that's a non-negotiable for you, if brushing it, brushing your teeth is a non-negotiable, taking a shower after your workout, so should success club. This is also a non-negotiable for your business and your business will literally never grow if you're not hitting success club. Um, and it just means you're changing lives and you're doing the things. I have so many girls that come and tell me I'm doing the things. I don't know what's going on. You're not doing the things. If you're not hitting success club, you're not doing all of the things. So maybe reprioritize and refigure out like what's going on in your business. Why aren't you hitting success club? Are you using a tracker? What are you skipping on the tracker? Are you even doing personal development? Are you working on yourself? You know, ask yourself, are you being the best challenger you can be? I always ask my coaches that I tell them your first priority is as like signing up as a coach is to be the best challenger you can be. So if you're not logging your shakes and workouts, if you're not, I don't know if you guys use the app at all, but if you're not checking in on the daily check-in every single day, then you're not being the best challenger you can be. Because if you had people in there, if you just hit success club and you had people that you put in the, the app or the Facebook group that you have, and you're not in there cheering them on, what kind of coach are you being? Right? So just making sure like reprioritizing, waking up, making new business hours, um, that's really helped me hit success club is just creating like a schedule because I literally stay at home all day. I'm a full-time coach. Um, and so when I don't have like business hours, like today I worked all day, like seven hours straight today. I'm not even kidding you. And my eyes hurt so bad. Um, and that, those are the days I get burnt out. Those are the days where I'm like, well, gosh, I don't want to work for the rest of the week. Right. So just keeping your energy high and making sure like, Yes, you're on Instagram stories, but you're keeping a balance, right? You're putting your phone away at night. You're reading a book. Um, just little things, little habits. Like I told you, I'm reading Atomic Habits, just creating these little habits to doing something better, right? So if you don't have business hours for your business, create them tonight, literally tonight. Like when are you power houring? Are you doing power hour pockets? Are you doing it for 10 minute increments every single day throughout the day? Like figure out because this is your business. So if you went to work and they told you come to the meeting after work or you're fired and you said, Oh, I can't, my kid needs to go to soccer. That's the same thing with beach body. That's the same thing with this business, right? Like I've had girls tell me that their power went out. They can't get on a team call. They can't put their headphones in on their phone and sit and listen to a team call. So would you say that to your nine to five corporate job or your nine to five job in your town if you couldn't make it to work? No, you'd probably get fired. So treat this as a business. Once you put your business goggles on and you treat this as an actual business, I promise you'll see the results and you'll see the growth. You just really have to literally treat it as a business because you, you are a business owner under someone else. Like you're a business owner, so you just have to think of it as this is my business. Success club is my non-negotiable. I'm hitting it. And you have 30 days in a month to do it. Sometimes 31, like next month you have 29 days. But if you hit it early in the month, you can hit higher numbers. You can bring in that extra income you want, right? I have extra income on my vision board. And the only way I know I'm going to be able to do that is if I get my coaches to hit success club if I'm changing more lives, right? That's pretty much it. You just have to literally think of it as like a non-negotiable. You wake up, you do your workout, you hit success club every single day, because then once you preach it out, you manifest it out, I'm signing someone today. I'm signing someone up today. I'm changing seven lives this week. You will, you will do it. If you put it out there because your brain knows when you say something out loud, it knows you need to do it. So just wake up and say, I'm changing one life today. And then you'll hit success club too every single day. I promise it freaking works. Um, but just making it a non-negotiable and your business will grow. I promise it is hard at first, but it doesn't have to be hard if you don't make it hard. <laughs> Do you guys have any questions? I didn't even get the chat. <laughs> Oh yeah, splice. It's really good. There's also, if you guys are in the bar, um, coach VIP group, they did a 
tutorial, but it's also on Vimeo, so I can grab it for you guys. Bailey, that was so freaking good. You're fire, girl. I love it. I love the analogy. Um, guys, if you have questions, type them in the chat, and uh, and we can get those answered for you. Seriously, ask away. This is your chance to to ask anything of Bailey. Um, I loved how you said that we're women who just want to be better and that we show up daily showing the work that it takes to do that. Um, I think that's also like, that's your like ammo when people want to come back with an objection. Like I'm always quick to say, dude, I've been doing this for six years. You watch me every day, do what I do. It must work. Like it's your ammunition, um, to show up. And I love how you said that, um, you know, that it's a storefront. It's a storefront, you guys. Um, when I, it, you know, when it, it's, it's pretty cool when people can start to notice when you don't show up and wonder if something's wrong, right? Um, that's when you know that you're consistent. As F, any questions? She shared the Vimeo link, guys. Go ahead, or not Vimeo, the uh, Splice tutorial. Um, go ahead and copy that really and put good. that on. It's really good, that tutorial. It taught me so much today. It's so good. Love it. So actually, what is it? I'm trying to find something. Hold on. So um, Kim, Kim Fitzpatrick said this. She said, this isn't a fitness business. This is about leadership, wellness, living well. It is about impacting other people's lives and providing the most incredible tools. So you just have to make sure like you're putting out there the tools that we have, you know, the tools to change their life. Um, the fact that you want to make an impact. It doesn't always have to be like, I'm running this fitness challenge. Like, join my 30 day fitness challenge. Like do these workouts with me. It can be so much as like you're doing morning routine and the people want to do it with you. And they want to be in your groups, learning that personally from you. I've had so many people in the past, like two months since I've started a morning routine, like actually showcasing it on my Instagram stories every single morning, every single morning I post that I'm like doing my morning routine, like actually showing them what I'm doing. And people have just wanted to join just because of that. Just because I posted a gratitude journal and they're like, I want to learn more about this. Like one-on-one, -on -one, I want to learn more. And I'm like, okay, I teach it in my boot camps. Like you'll get me one-on-one -on -one if you join my boot camp. And then they just join because they want like this ex these extra tools. So just thinking like we have these tools to provide. We're not all, all about numbers and money and fitness and workouts and nutrition and recipes. There's so much more to us. We just want to make an impact. Shelly has a question. She said, Bailey, when you go and add followers every day, are you, are these people, you know, can you go through your process of like where you're potentially looking for new followers to grow your following? Yeah. So, so sometimes I'll go to like the explore page. So if you go to Instagram and you go to the bottom and you go to the little magnifying glass or search glass, I don't know what you call it. Um, and you just kind of scroll through those posts in there are based off of like what you like the most on Instagram. Um, whether it's like fashion or babies, mine's a lot of like babies, it's like home stuff. Um, but if you just scroll through and kind of look around, I'll find like a post and say it's like this, this girl, she's a, I don't know, she's like a wellness coach, not with Beachbody. Um, she posts a lot of workouts. So she has like a thousand ninety one likes. So I just go to that post that I found and I click the comments. And I just kind of scroll through because her post caption is literally like me. It's just me. Like, excuse me. She's all about like the self-love and all the things and that's who I am. So I'll go through the comments. I'll kind of look around and I found this girl named Brittany. <laughs> what a coincidence. Um, and she has like esthetician in her bio and she has a strawberry. I don't know what that means, but you, I just kind of like go through the people that are commenting and I look around and, okay, if I vibe with her and I want to follow her, then I just go through some of her photos and like them. Maybe comment on one and say, like, oh, my God, your skin is glowing. Like, what do you use? And I usually, like, ask a question so that they see it and they come back and reply to me. Um, and then I'll just follow her. But if this takes time. Like, you might only get five follows in because it takes, like, 30 minutes. But... It's like you want all of your feed on Instagram, the people you're following, to be your dream prospects. You don't want just a bunch of random people. I actually went through today 
um, and unfollowed like 600 people. It took me like all day, but I was like, all these people on my feed are not people I want. Like they're, you know, they're like huge fitness people. And I just don't, I don't care to follow them anymore. Right. So just going through and kind of like genuinely looking and if they don't look like someone you vibe with, then go to someone else. Like you don't have to follow them. Um, and I just keep doing that every day. I, I do that or say like, I have someone follow me, right. Just like out of random. And it's like a girl with a transformation. She's not a coach. I kind of like look through, see if she's doing beach body. Um, I'll go to her profile and I'll click her followers. So I get so deep into like this connection point to where I'm like, okay, this girl's page, her followers, that person's followers. And I'm like deep in this like engagement thing. And I'm just looking for people, right? Because the people following you are the people that want to see your stuff. So they must relate to you in some way. Um, maybe like going to a challenger's page and, or like a friend, like a close friend and going to their followers. I do that all the time. It's yeah, the rabbit hole. It's literally like you get so deep into this rabbit hole that you're like, oh my God, swipe back, swipe back, refresh all the pages, get back to my profile. Cause you're like so deep in this rabbit hole. Um, but that's how I build my following. I literally just sit here and I just go through and like their photos and connect with these people. It's just, it's so easy, but it's so hard because it takes time. So you really can't grow your following overnight is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and you but make sure like you are following people that want you want in your boot camps, like you want on your coaching team because you don't want your feed filled with so many like people you don't want to talk to. Yeah. I love that. You know, like unfollowing the people that just, if I'm like, Whoa, you posted something, I don't vibe with that. Or all of a sudden I see the way they post a lot and like their verbiage. I'm like, that's not me. Like that's yeah. not my vibe. Like I'll unfollow. Even if when I first followed them, I had the intention that maybe they were my vibe, but then they, you know, that's your right in your storefront. You guys, that's where I think it's so important that we really realize that your social media is not this thing where you're like showing, you know, your mom who lives two time zones away, your lunch that you had and your new cat and the cat's toys. Like that's not what social media is anymore. When you become a very serious beach body coach, when you are a beach body coach, you become an influencer. And so you have to latch on to how do I want to influence people and impact them? How do I want to serve my audience? And that's how you show up every day in your social media. And those are the types of people you are seeking out to then pour into, right? Um, I love this guys. Don't discredit though your warm market. So many of you guys, if I went through your followers and your fr Facebook friend list right now, and I said, have you invited? And I just grabbed one at random. You'd probably tell me, no, Brittany, I haven't invited them yet. And so don't discredit the people who are already there as well. Okay. Um, yes. Not following anybody that hasn't posted in the last month is awesome. Any last questions for Bailey, you guys? With Team Cup coming up, this is an awesome way. You, you can see this takes time. This takes intentionality. This takes sitting down every day for at least a chunk of time. Set your timer. In. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to connect with people for 20 minutes till that timer goes off. Do it while you're watching The Bachelor. Whatever you do with your life at night, I don't know, but do this while you're doing that. Uh, kill two birds with one stone. But this is a great momentum builder, you guys, for Team Cup. So don't wait like, okay, I'll start that, you know, that's on my to-do list to try. No, like tonight. Start building connections tonight. Okay, it doesn't look like we have any more questions, guys. I want to snap a picture so if we can put our cameras on as best as possible. I know we've got some people probably with chaotic backgrounds and lives, but we want to see your face. I'm going to stop the recording.